Welcome everyone to Mr. Adobe where you get prime educated videos on Adobe Premiere, Adobe Photoshop and Adobe After Effects. Before getting into the video, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Without further ado, Mr. Adobe will be guiding you through today's video. Hello everyone, welcome to another cool and easy to follow tutorial on Adobe Photoshop. In this tutorial, I will show you some simple techniques to create a dripping text effect. So moving on, select the background layer and add gradient to the layer. So select the radial style and check off reverse. Adjust the scale as per your preference and hit OK. We are going to use the plasma drip break font in this tutorial. It is a way to make your work a lot more convenient. Now type in your required text with the aforementioned plasma drip break font and with the move tool position your text accordingly. Then import an image that you want to use. With Ctrl plus T, adjust the size of your picture so that it fits the text. Right click on the image layer and select Create Clipping Mask. Now with the Move tool, drag around the image to position it as per your preference. So to merge the image with the text, select the two layers and hold Ctrl plus E. After that, rename the merge layer. Here, I'm naming it Wave. Then go to Filter and select Liquify. It will take you to Liquify Canvas. Here, zoom right into the text and start creating the liquefying effect using the Forward Wrap tool. To increase the size of the wrap tool, use the Close Square Bracket key. And to decrease, use the Open Square Bracket key After completion, click OK. Now go to Effects down below and select Bevel and Emboss. The Layer Style dialog box will appear. Here adjust the depth and select Down in Direction. Also adjust the angle and hit OK. After that go to the Layers panel and copy the Wave layer using the shortcut Ctrl plus J. Select the Wave Copy layer, right-click on it and select Perspective. Now you will be able to modify the perspective as per your requirement. Using it, adjust the text such that it looks like the Wave layer's shadow. Decrease its opacity and you're done. It looks great. That's it for today. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and let me know if you thought it was helpful in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe us for more interesting tutorials on Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects. Till then, stay original, stay creative and have a good time.